In today's exciting adventure, we're going to be looking at something called distinct. The distinct keyword is a really great way to just return unique records. Uh, for example, uh, let's, let's open up this department table. Now in this department table, we have a visible flag. It's a bit field. And it can either be true, it could be false, or it, it could be null. Nothing in this happens to be null, but there's three possibilities. Um, you know that in a table with hundreds and hundreds of records, if, if there's a true-false field, you know you're going to have some that are true and some that are false. Uh, but just, just to show you how you can use distinct, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say select distinct DP visible. In a second, let me let me come back here. First, I'm going to say select DP visible from departments. Now, when I do that, you notice it's telling me I've got a true, a false, a true, a true, and a false. Okay, it's like a full house, two of a kind and three of a kind. But, you know, maybe if, if this table has like hundreds and hundreds of records or thousands of records, then I, I don't want to see ones and zeros for the rest of my life. What can I do? Well, what I could do, it's my phone flirting with me. What I could do is say select distinct DP visible from departments. And when I do that, see now it only shows one instance of zero and one instance of one, so it's unique. But now, again, if there were hundreds or even thousands of records in this table, then it, again, that's, I mean, duh. A, a Boolean flag, a bit field, of course there's going to be zeros and ones. There's going to be true and false, but you know, without any other information, it, it's not incredibly helpful. Somebody may want to know, well, how many of them are false or how many of them are true? So what you can do is set up a query like this. There's something called the group by. We're not going to talk about it too, too much, but just for the sake of argument, what I'm doing in this query, you have to have the group by clause. And you have to say which field you're grouping by. And since we're just pulling out the visible field, that's the one that we're doing it by. Um, so we're saying, basically, select distinct uh, DP visible, you know, and then from departments. But what we're adding to this is another field, and we're doing a count. I'm also naming it CNT. That's just so it returns a name to the, the field. But I'm doing a count on DP visible. Count is an aggregate function. It's going to tell me how many instances of each value for this that there are. And um, that's why you have to use group by when you're using an aggregate uh, function like count. When I run this, here's what it looks like. See, now this, this record set is a little more valuable because now it's telling me that in this table, yeah, I have records that are set to false. There's two of them. And I have records set to true. Well, there's three of them. You could see how beneficial something like that would be. If you had a table uh, where it was a bunch of customers and each of them were from different states, then all of a sudden if there's thousands of records, you might notice that you know, you have 300 customers from Florida, 250 from Tennessee, uh, 5,500 from New York, that kind of thing. So distinct, using the distinct keyword is great, but when you team it up with count, and group by, then you can also report on how many of something are showing up in a table, and it's it's a very it's a very valuable uh, couple of queries to know about.